Good morning, first grade. Welcome to Monday, June 15th's daily announcements. Today is day one, so do some working out in Mrs. Google, Mrs. Percy's Google Classroom. Mrs. Daniels is having a difficult Monday. Oh no. Our final Zoom meeting is tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of school, your last day of first grade. We will meet at 11 a.m. and then you'll be second graders. Woo-hoo, second graders. Amazing. For today's ABC countdown, please move your body for 30 minutes. That should be no problem for you guys as you get ready for your summer. And if you can, find an empty box and create something with it. Some ideas are a computer, a house, or a vehicle. Be creative. And if you do this, if you create something for Box Day, please be prepared to share it at our final Zoom meeting. I'm sure your classmates would love to see it. Today's must-do assignments. Well, I guess I'll start with these birthday kids. Um, our final flip grids for summer birthdays are for Noah and Aurora. And you will be also doing one for Max, who is in Mrs. Ortiz's class. So please make sure to leave Noah, Aurora, and Max birthday flip grids today. All right, for writing, if you did not finish your digital memory book, Please finish it up today. We will be doing some sharing of your digital memory books um, tomorrow during our Zoom meeting. And if you've already finished your digital memory book, you can write your weekend news in your journal, your final weekend news of first grade, so make it a good one. For social studies, you are going to learn about a holiday that takes place later this week after school is over. Um, it takes place on June 19th, and it is called Juneteenth, and you will be learning about it um, through PebbleGo and in some other resources, and then leaving a comment about something you learned about Juneteenth. So this weekend is Father's Day, so I am inviting you to create a message on Flipgrid to celebrate an important man in your life. We already talked about Noah, Aurora, and Max's birthday flip grids. Math for today and for tomorrow will be optional, but if you choose to complete it, you will find lessons 20 and 21 in the math topic available for you to work on. And let's have a marvelous Monday. Have a great day, everybody.